Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Thursday, March 11th. And this is the one year anniversary of the big shutdowns across the country. Um, in Wisconsin, we didn't get our safer at home orders until like the, I believe like the 16th or 17th. But this is the day that many states across the country and um, declared states of emergency uh, when the WHO declared the coronavirus a pandemic and uh, when the NBA shut down. So uh, we're marking that one year anniversary today and remembering remembering all the lives lost. And it's a, yeah, it's a sobering number, over 520,000. Uh, 500, yeah, 520,000 um, uh, Americans, yeah. Then over two point, the you know, last figure I saw was like 2.6, 2.7 million worldwide. Yeah, it's been had a devastating effect on our world. And so we mark this day. Um, and the weather kind of <laughs> is is like uh, uh, a sober day, a sobering day with uh, clouds and quite a stiff breeze going out there, blowing pretty good. So uh, hang on to your hats. <laughs> so um, check-in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and well. Uh, leave a comment or a question below if you have one. I do have my coffee here in my Al's breakfast mug. So cheers, church. And our devotion today comes from, again, our a story to tell, a Latin devotional, written by Harvard Stevens Jr., pastor, writer, and musician from Kenosha. And the picture is... Just a cross hanging from a car mirror there. Beautiful scenery in the background. Hills and mountains. So on the devotion scripture is Mark 8, 34 to 36. Jesus said, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their life? And the to ponder part is a quote from uh, a book by Douglas John Hall, the Christ, I'm sorry, the cross in our context. Uh, to ponder, it is easy enough to claim belief in God, but the question that must always be put to such claims is simply, which God? What is your image of this God in whom you claim belief? What kind of company does your God keep? What does your God ask of you, if anything? Hmm. Good questions there to ponder. We think about uh, the image of this God in whom we came belief. I, I, the image of God is Jesus. And what kind of company does God keep? <laughs> Well, Jesus keeps company with tax collectors and sinners and prostitutes and and uh, people who are sick and, and um, need help. And uh, yeah, that's who Jesus hangs out with. What does your God ask of you, if anything? <laughs> Jesus asks us to take up our cross in there, doesn't he? And the uh, devotion is titled, There is a Cross for Me. A popular entertainer sings about losing yourself in moments that must be embraced even when they involve great risks. I'm not familiar with those that who that might be. That doesn't sound like a familiar song to me anyway. If somebody out there recognizes that, let me know. I'll put a comment. Uh, I'll write that in the comment section. I'll read that again. A popular entertainer sings about losing yourself in moments that must be embraced, even when they involve great risks. These lyrics remind me of Jesus' words, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. In denying ourselves, we put the needs of others ahead of our own self-interest and success. Crosses are signs of what we are called to do, however difficult or improbable, as Jesus leads the way. Many people have found peace, honor, and purpose in denying themselves, taking up the cross, and following Jesus. This does not conform to the logic of this world, but Christ's redeeming love gives us new, new life, strength, 
and wisdom that the world cannot give. We all know people who are always willing to uh, set aside what they have or what they want and help others. Um, picking up their cross and following Jesus. And, and I, I think many of what we have come to, to term in the uh, past year, the frontline heroes, um, may not say that they are Christian, um, but they certainly have uh, put aside their own self-interest and success. Um, I'm, I'm talking about doctors and nurses and emergency uh, you know, paramedics and, and people who are working in the health industry and grocery store workers and all these people who have helped us through this past year. Um, one, because it's their job, and one, because they, they are called, they feel called to do this. This is, this is who, part of who they are. And so I think that is also... Uh, an example of picking up their cross and, and denying themselves and following Jesus. Like I said, they may be atheists or they may be uh, people of other religions, but uh, they are following the teachings of Jesus, even if they might not admit it, right? And that's, you know, that's how God works. God works through uh, many, many different types of people, even you and even me. Right? So be of strong heart and good courage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Practice all those health practices, you know, washing your hands and wearing masks, practicing physical distance, and staying home as much as possible still, and getting those vaccines when they become available to you. These are ways we show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, Encourage and sustain us as we take up the cross and follow you. Give us faith to go where you are leading us, trusting that even amid suffering and death, you are the giver of life, joy, and peace. Amen. Hope you had a chance to watch the Lenten worship uh, from yesterday. If you didn't, uh, it's there on Facebook and YouTube. Go ahead and check that out. Uh, blessings upon you this day. Peace. I'll see you tomorrow for another either fun t-shirt or Hoodie Friday Devo. I haven't decided yet which one it'll be, but I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.